Hey everybody, uh, so many of you know I'm involved with the channeling group and last night we met and we were um, bringing forward information about this concept of ascending the mountain. And that topic has been sticking with me today and I feel like I should share it with all of you. So here we are. Um, the information that came forward from me was that each person has their own individual mountain or if you wanna phrase it, has their own experience and you are climbing your individual mountain. Now that individual mountain has its own peak, has its own top of the mountain that you are um, climbing towards. Now the path towards that mountain is not preset, meaning you create in every now moment by choices um, how you're going to get to the top, but you already know it's there. The mountain already has the peak, right? but you choose how you're going to get there and you um, stop off and enjoy the path as you are creating it. You don't wanna just get there. The point is to enjoy the creating. So the other thing that was coming forward was um, that as the mountain of our individuality is part of the land as a whole, we have to make sure that we are on the journey of our own mountain in order to learn the lessons and the things that we are supposed to learn for our own life plan. What typically is taking place is people are projecting themselves out into other people's experiences and taking the energy on as their own. So what happens is they become entangled with the experiences that are happening on the outside. Rather than being aware of what's happening on the outside and taking into account what they're learning from it and processing it. And um, I find that people are beginning to judge themselves if they're not having the same experience as another, but they're not supposed to. The people are having whatever experience they're having is what they're supposed to have. Your particular experience is meant for you. It's just meant for you. So there is no comparison or judgment to how people are reacting or acting or choosing their decisions based off of what their experience is. And the other thing that came forward, I'm trying to like squeeze this all into a really quick little thing, but the other thing that came forward when another um, friend of mine was channeling was this idea of peaks and valleys. And, um, and like, it's interesting because I get this information afterwards. It's like, I don't know what happened and then I get the information afterwards, so I process it. But there is something about peaks and valleys and it's about how um, there will always be peaks and valleys. There will always be ebbs and flows. And as we feel like we're in a huge ebb right now, there is an equal grand flow that is manifesting or creating the momentum. There is a major flow that is taking place. So as deep as we are feeling uh, the receding and the experience we're having, there is an equal flow that is um, manifesting or that is already created and now it's just getting ready to move in that direction. So as you go into peaks and valleys and you're like thinking, oh, I'm at a peak, but wait, the mountain is still going. Ah, oh, I have to go down this little this little valley in order to climb up. But every time you go back down a new valley, it is not as low as the one you started. So you never go back down as low. You're just picking up the slack or learning new things that you maybe missed along the first incline. And every time you reach a new peak, you get a lower valley and it keeps ascending. But no matter what, it just allows you to keep that cycle up and pick up slack where you may have not picked up full lessons, things like that. So the important thing here to take away from this is that as we have a unified mountain that we are all climbing, the way that we reach the top together is by you ascending your own mountain, learning your own lessons, and addressing what needs to come forward for you. Because among that, you can act in the highest regard or the highest self of you. But if you are entangling yourself in other people's mountains as you're climbing up, you're missing the aspect that you're learning about yourself. So in order for us to uh, fully meet each other at the peak, at the top of our own, of our collective mountain, we must reach the top of our individual mountain. 
So, in what ways are you ascending a mountain? Are you learning? And um, I just thank my group for um, the messages that they brought forward last night and my instructor um, and the um, being that is channeled in our group. Um, I'm very proud of the work that I do. I'm proud of this group and we bring forward some really beautiful and powerful information. I just thought that today I should share this idea of ascending the mountain with you and um, allow yourself to kind of either journal, contemplate, think about how um, your mountain looks and how you are ascending it. Are you enjoying the, the, slow, um, the slow incline, you know, this time of rest, resting in the cabin on the way up to the top of the mountain. And that was a vision that was given to me when another person was channeling was I saw this cabin in the middle of the woods. Like we are at this cabin where we're able to rest before the next ascended climb. I hope that helps some people. I hope you enjoyed that little transmission of energy. I tried to remember as much as I could, but I was a little out of the way so I could only pull forward what I recall at this point. All right, you guys, enjoy. Hit me up in the in the box or um, leave comments. I would love to hear how you are ascending this mountain and how you are handling everything. All right, thank you.